Hey guys, and welcome to another daily tip episode for Wednesday, January 14th, 2009. I'm going to talk a little bit about this free digital audio workstation software called Reaper. Um, if you go over to reaper.fm, you can find all the information about it. Um, the front page is just kind of an about um, and, you know, kind of what it is. Um, if you go over here to the download section, you can actually go and download the software. It's completely free. Um, there's no time limit. Um, it's technically, you're not supposed to use it without buying it for commercial purposes. In other words, to make money off of it, um, you actually need to buy this software. But for private use, it's completely fine um, to use this free version. Um, they have three different versions. There's a Windows 32-bit, which is the first one that you see here. There's a Windows 64-bit, which is what I'm using because um, I'm on 64-bit um, Vista. And then there's also a Mac OS X um, installer package there also. So there's three different versions. Um, I have not used the Mac version, um, but the 64-bit beta is all the bugs have really been worked out of it now. The first one was kind of buggy, but the second version of the 64-bit works great. And I've also used the 32-bit and it works great. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into Reaper. Um, this is what it looks like when you first open it up. Um, it looks like a basic um, audio production workstation, really, um, but it is extremely deep um, for being free. Um, there's, this is just a new project, and in order to insert a new track, just right-click and go to Insert New Track. Um, you hit this little R button to arm your track for recording, and then you hit the red Record button in order to start recording. And as you can see, it's already recognized my USB device, and you can actually see while I'm talking the um, uh, audio level meter is actually going up and down um, with my voice. Um, you can change the input here by clicking on this down arrow. You have two mono inputs, so you could theoretically have two different tracks, um, one right and one left, so you could get two separate tracks on one stereo um, input. You also have a stereo input, so one track with both left and right channels, and then you also have your MIDI input. Um, up here is a really cool feature that I haven't seen in um, any other uh, audio workstation software. This is a really easy, quick uh, access panel. You have your file new, your full, or your uh, open, your save, your tool set for, or your, not, or your uh, options. Um, this is where you can change your sample rate and uh, uh, your or, or your um, your uh, bit depth for your waves. Also change the recording format. I'd recommend sticking with WAVE since it is actually uncompressed. Um, if you're actually working with um, uh, a CD quality, I'd recommend using 88.2, but for just standard quality, 44.1 will do fine. Um, so that's the options menu. You also have uh, an undo and a redo button here. And then here's your metronome right here. You always want to use a metronome. Um, right click on the metronome to bring up the metronome options. Um, the second row has all kinds of different stuff. This is a cool option. This is the snap to grid. So as you can see, those black lines go away when I take the snap to grid off. Um, this is this can be used as a loop-based software like Acid or, or Cubase. Um, so if you uh, are working with a lot of loops or you want to loop a certain riff um, over and over again as long as it's played on time, you can copy and paste and have the riff go on for as long as you want without actually having to play it over and over and over again. So that's a great feature. Um, so this is uh, pretty much the basic layout of Reaper. Obviously, there's more in depth, tons of options. Um, it looks much more like a high-end um, digital audio workstation than um, this free version. Um, it's $225 to buy a commercial license for it to actually own the software. Um, but if for private use, as I said before, it's, uh, it's uh, fine to use for free. So that is a little introduction to Reaper. Um, tomorrow I'll actually be recording some guitar inside of Reaper and showing you how to create a stereo signal out of a mono track. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.